and uh, but below is Paul Jones's Bay, supposedly the hiding place of the treasure of the 18th century pirate John Paul Jones. <gasps> There's potential treasure down there, folks. Oh my days! Let's go and have a look at the old bay. A treasure maybe you are. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're in just outside of Tembe at the moment and uh, we're gonna head on over to a small little island called Caldi Island, which is, it's about a mile and a half long by a mile wide, at its widest. And it has a population of 40 approximately. <laughs> and it's owned by a bunch of monks and there's a varying number of monks coming in, in and out, but there's about 10 of them there at the moment. So, um, sounds like a very interesting little place. You can get a boat over from Tembe, a return ticket for 15 quid. So I've got the poster thing here somewhere and it's got a list of things to do there. So the idea is to do the whole list while we're there, if possible. Some might not be possible and I'll explain why after. But anyways, just making some oats, lemon tea, enjoying this glorious sunshine before most people have got up. They're snoring in the background in their tent. It's funny. But anyways, let me get this down myself and then we'll head off over to Tembe, park the car up, get on a boat and head over to this little island. Okay, see you soon. And then just like that, we're in a car park in Tembe. So we're in Tenby, this is where we get the boat over to the island. I parked a little ways away from where we're getting the boat, the other side of the beach. We're at North Beach here and um, there's a reason for that because there's a beautiful little viewpoint along the way and I want to show you guys Tenby quickly from a nice viewpoint so you get an idea of where we are. It's absolutely a stunning little town, it really is, very picturesque. If we've got time after the island visit, we'll uh, have a little snoop around, but at least you'll get a nice little idea from this uh, viewpoint we're gonna head to now. So we're a few minutes walk away. As you can see already, we've got some nice colorful little cottages here. And this town is quite renowned for colorful buildings and hotels and that kind of thing, which is you're gonna see right now anyway. So without further ado, let's head on down to Chinatown. Here we go. This is where it opens up. And let's check up with all the colourful buildings here. As you can see. So while we walk into the viewpoint there, it's about a population of 5,000 here, something like that. It's an old um, harbour town, as you will see. First you will see, there's the beach. One of the beaches anyway. There's a nice little rock in the middle of it there. There's a nice viewpoint of this beach from just up there as well, which we'll go to later. But um, we'll just head on towards the viewpoint up here so you get an idea of the town. All the boats there, the tide's out today. It's quite low at the moment. There we go. That's Tenby Harbour down there. When the tide's right in, obviously the water comes right into there. It's a lovely little beach just down at the bottom here. Pretty cool beach, eh? Pretty big. So where we've come from, Trevane, the campsite, is just over there. That's Monkstone Beach. It's a stunning little beach down there as well. We've got the, uh, the lifeboat, the old lifeboat station and the new one next to each other there. And it's not very good for the light right now. Maybe it'll be better when we come back later, but all of the buildings here are all colour, colourful and it's very nice. I was down here yesterday, it was absolutely stunning. The tide was in, so all of this is just lush, turquoise, blue water. But when we come back later, maybe that's how it'll be, let's see. Anyways, we're going to head on down there now, get a ticket and head over to the island. So here we are now, just walking down to the ticket office, which is just up there. Little ticket booths just here. This is that small little beach I was just pointing down before. Obviously the harbour. 
Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Yes, folks, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Small little church down here, you see, which provides nice shade for the beach at the moment. St. Julian's Church, right down here on the front. Then, this is the small little beach I was pointing down from. We just stood right up there, and you can walk right along the coast. So, the campsite I'm staying at is you continue along the coast there. What a beautiful, beautiful walk! Absolutely stunning walk, folks. Very nice, very uh up and downy I think you need a little bit of energy but it's a very very nice part of the coastline anyways let's head on up here come to the boat trip thing here so you can get boat trips where you just go around the island on a boat you don't get onto the island you just go around and look for uh, wildlife and all of that kind of thing or you can get a boat over to the island that like you get off and you walk around which is the one we're going to do today which is this one here. So if you come to Tendi, you'll see all of these booths. These ones are the ones where you don't get off the boat, you just kind of go around it on a rib, a rib boat or another slower boat. There's some fishing trips you can do here also. One please. Yeah. There we go. There's our ticket. Apparently there's a cafe over there so you can get food there. He said to go through this arch. Tea for the road in this little cafe in there. It's just on the way down to the beach. Here we are. South Beach. Little ice cream place. This beach goes on for, for days down that way. I was down there yesterday. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we're in the little queue on the left, which is fairly big but not too big. What you can see up there, that's St. Catherine's Island and St. Catherine's Fort at the top. You can just see it there. And then to the left, you've got Tenby Castle just beyond the cliffs up there. So while the tide's out, obviously, as you can see, there's some steps where you can go up there over onto the island and visit the little fort. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. There we go, folks. That was a pleasant little boat ride. Anyways, instantly is one of the first things ticked off the list, and that is Priory Beach. This is the main beach here, as you can see. There's an entrance there. We'll go over there now. But um, this is the only beach with public access on the whole island. There's many little beaches dotted about here and there, which I think you can look down on, but um, you're not allowed to go on. So. That's the only one, folks, that's the only one, but it's absolutely stunning, you know. You've got some nice kind of sand dunes behind it there. So here's a list of the old birds that you might see here. Peregrine falcon, the robin, chuff, black swan, grey partridge, oyster catcher, song thrush, puffins. Ooh, puffins. Swallows and the pheasant. Well, let's see what we can find today anyways. That's the look of the draw with the old wildlife, but here we go, look. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And the, the beach continues, you know, it's bigger than what the eye can see here. But I think for now, what we'll do is we'll venture around, we'll get what we need to do. We'll venture around, we'll um, go and see what we need to see. And then when we're waiting for the boat back, 
we shall go and get our toes in the old sand of Priory Beach. Very pretty, man. And you got Thames obviously in the distance over there. Anyways, this road we're following, this is going to take us to the village, I believe. This is the way to the little village on Calvi Island. Yeah, that could be anywhere in the world, that, you know what I mean? That could be Australia, Mexico. That could be anywhere in the world. That is stunning. Caldi Island. A nice little map there. And the monks of Caldi Island welcome you to the island and pray that you will find here peace, happiness, the love of God and an awareness of his care for all of us. So there you go. And apparently they do spiritual gatherings here as well at certain times of the year so you can come over here and um, get involved in all of that as well if you want I haven't checked it out myself yet but anyways folks without further ado we've just walked in to what I believe is the squirrel zone that's one thing I haven't mentioned and well I did say there might be something we will be unable to do here or it's hit and miss is the wildlife so from the ocean you can see things like seals and various birds and within inland you have things like red squirrels which are quite rare there you go squirrel zone there's a forest in north wales called newbra forest which is uh, the same kind of thing they've reintroduced them there a long time ago so this is the forest of the squirrels so let's see if we can find any Well, no luck with finding any squirrels, folks. Plus, with a guy hammering it through here on a on a ride on lawnmower didn't help. The fact it's very loud. Anyway, we're coming into something here. I believe this is the village. This is the village of Caldi. So um, I see a big white building, which I'm guessing is the Abbey. And we have a little cafe here. There we go with a nice grassy area for people to chill out on. Many benches spread out. So let's continue here and um, check out the Abbey, amongst other things. So here we have the village pond. This was on the list. There we go, a very small little pond, but we've got some little ducks in the distance there. And then the pond is right next to the gift shop store, gift shop. There we go, Caldi Island gift shop ticked off the list of many things on offer here and I'm not going to look too much into because that's not really why I'm here but many things on offer oh something I should have told you as well is that they kind of rely on tourism here quite a lot and they make their own perfumes and their own chocolate here so there is a chocolate factory here and there's perfumes on offer I just did see some chocolate in there actually maybe I should have shown you the chocolate let me just go and show you the chocolate that they have on offer it's made here on the island so we've got extra dark milk and dark all different ones oh and white as well very nice there we go I might get some of that chocolate after I don't want to get it now because it's going to melt because it's so hot Anyways, here we go, folks. We've got the gallery, which again is on the list. Check. That actually looks closed at the moment. And then what we have down here at the bottom is the post office and museum. Check that off the list. Ding. There we go. Little post office right there. We have a little nosy inside. Let's have a quick squeeze. There we go. Sorry. Right. Just in everyone's way, but I just wanted to have a quick note in here. Got the guy behind the counter there, the old original post office situation. Cool, eh? <laughs> Anyways, before we hit the main, the main thing, let's just go and have a look at these little houses that are just on the edge here. So we just have some nice, nice row of terraced houses right here. And then there we go, folks. 
the main attraction pretty much well depending on what you're here for Caldi Abbey the sun's not in the best position to see it I hope the lighting isn't too bad for you guys this little bird on the sign there well very very confident anyway Caldi Abbey is built to a traditional layout with a costier surrounding cloister surrounding a central garden known as the Garth the Abbey Church is open to the public monastic services take place at the time shown on the church door so the Abbey Church is open to the public but the Abbey I believe is not well I can see my first two red squirrels and I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch them on this, but let me try. There's one running across the road. As you would expect, the uh, squirrels are a little bit shy. They're a little bit shy. But hopefully when we walk into the forest, I think that might be the forest walk there. But anyways, maybe we'll find some there. But this is St. David's Church. Let me take this off the list. Ding! The light isn't too bad. I hope you guys can see that. That's stunning. Very nice. As far as churches go, you know. Very well kept. And all of the headstones are crosses, wooden crosses. With no real, with no, oh well, there's three stone head headstones here but the rest of them yep they're all wooden okay, there we go it'll look better from this angle i think beautiful little church and have a quick look inside if we're allowed why not eh Very nice, a beautiful little old church, look at that. Well, let's continue. We're going to head up to the Abbey Church now. Let's go and find the Abbey Church. Well, here we have the Abbey Church. So you have the Abbey just here, what we were just looking at from below. And then just behind it here, you have the Abbey Church. Caldi Abbey. Let's have a quick look, shall we? If we're allowed. Yeah, it's locked at the moment. Ah, this door is locked. To see the church better, go upstairs to the gallery. Let's go upstairs to the gallery then. I guess seat in area here. Caldi Abbey Church. There we go. Oh there we go. That was Caldi Abbey Church. Now, there is a little path around here, but I don't think we're going to be able to go any further. I think this is actually the Abbey. There's a garden right here, or a painter. Hello. Hiya. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. I'm guessing there's no en this is a no entry place. No, it's fine. I've, I've, this bit here, that's no entry, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. But, um, are you one of the monks? No. You're not? No, just painting here? Yeah. Yeah. What a nice job to have. Not bad, eh? Anyway, have a nice day. I've just found this little offshoot. There was no sign to say that this was the forest walk. 
but kind of leading me into the forest. And now that I've come, there's people following me. <laughs> so peaceful in here. This is the woodland walk, folks. The woodland walk now. But the squirrels are hiding. The little devils. Now, I've seen a few, like I say, but they do. they're camera shy. I wasn't expecting that. Nice grassy area in the middle of the forest. Look at this. Oh, beautiful tree, look at that. It looks like two separate trees. I just joined at the hip. And then that's like one tree and that's another. Beautiful, eh? Ah, oh, nature. Oh, hello. There we are, folks. There's a nice little view I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I didn't realise I was so close to the coast. Anyway, I think what we can see there is, is the end of Priory Beach. That's the end of it. Tenby over there. The boat's coming back and forth. Beautiful. See, I think I've just found a bit of a coastal path here. I just kind of came through the forest and then ended up came out of the forest a little bit and then onto these little paths that I'm showing you here and it's just going continuing so I don't know how far to go really because we're kind of going off track here <laughs> and I wasn't expecting to find this path like this so um, I don't want to go too far in case I do get lost I mean I'm on a small little island I can't get too lost but I do want to keep on track a little bit you know anyway let's just go for a little bit longer bunch here Beautiful. Well, I don't think we're going to, we're going to go any further. It, keep, it just continues into the forest there now. And I'm going to go back to where I need to get to. And uh, but below is Paul Jones's Bay. Supposedly the hiding place of the treasure of the 18th century pirate, John Paul Jones. <gasps> There's potential treasure down there, folks. Oh my days. Let's go and have a look at... The old bay, where treasure may be, you are down there, look. Some pretty nice scenes, eh, folks? Old Caldy Bay is not so bad at the moment, is it? What are you thinking at the moment? I'm bloody loving it, I am. Look at this. Anyway, let's go and get some more of them things checked off the list. This wasn't on the list, but if it was on the list, coastal path walk, tick. So what I just did then was um, part of the quarry walk, which is not on the actual list of things to do on the pamphlet, but it is a walk that's here on the uh, northeast side of the island. That's worth doing if you come here. Nice views over to Tembe and over to the Gower Peninsula as well. You couldn't catch it on the camera, but you could see Worms Head and everything there. Very, very nice. Anyway, we're kind of walking back into town now into Centro, into downtown, and uh, yeah, we need to pass through there to head on to the next place of interest. The Abbey to our left, post office to our right, houses, dog, oh, yeah. and look at these man, that's so nice. So a quick look at the map tells me we're heading towards the chocolate factory, the lighthouse, and an old church, an old priory. So, so apparently this is the way to the old priory. So it'd be rude not to have a little look, wouldn't it? Let's go and have a look. Anyway, which way do we go, left or right? I'm guessing it's a loop. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look at this. That out. Is this the old priory? Definitely an old ruin. This is the old mill, apparently. Here we go. Old mill. 
continue. The old mansion gardens. Through the old arch door. Lovely little pleasant walk through the woods, well gardens, brings you to the church. And this church is called St Istids, if I'm saying that right. So yes, let's go and have a little look, shall we? Have a quick squeeze around the back, shall we? It's nice to get some shade, actually. There for some remedial work. Look at this one, beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, for me personally, best church by far at the moment.